This week we'll take the METAR data that we parsed last week and get it onto a surface observation plot with wind barbs, temperature, and dew point displayed, all using METPI's declarative interface. Welcome to another METPI Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week we're going to continue what we started last week, which is to make a surface station plot. So we're going to take that METAR data, which I've already run those cells, and here's the code. Though if you haven't seen this code before, I encourage you to go back and watch the previous video where we discuss exactly what's going on here. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and use the declarative plotting interface, which is METPI's gympac like simplified syntax, to make this plot in a very small number of lines. First though, we need to do some imports. So in a new cell down here, from date time, I'm going to import date time and time delta. I'm going to import Cartapi's coordinate reference system as CCRS, which is the traditional shorthand that we use instead of typing Cartapi.CRS every time. And then from metpy.plots.declarative, import star. Now generally in Python, wildcard imports or star imports are considered bad practice. But in this case, with the declarative plotting interface, this is really the best way to use it. And the purpose of the declarative interface is to help ease the transition from other tools into using metpy. And then we're going to use units. So from metpy.units, import units. One thing that you might remember, if we look at the units attribute on our data frame, let's go down and find our temperature. So air temperature, as it's been reported and parsed, is in degrees Celsius. Generally, we want the plot in degrees Fahrenheit here in the US. So we're going to go ahead and do a conversion. So in that data frame, I'm gonna create a new data series called tempf. And I'm going to access the air temperature data series of the data frame and its values. So just the values. And then we're going to multiply that by degrees Celsius to assign the proper units to it. And finally, we'll convert that to degrees Fahrenheit. This is still one of those rough edges where units and some packages in Python, such as pandas, don't play very well together. And this will get better over time, but for now, that's the way we have to do it. Remember we start from the small components, so the plot object. Then we're going to put that inside a map panel. Then we're going to put that panel inside a panel container. If you're not familiar with these terms, I encourage you to go back and look at some of the videos discussing the basics of declarative plotting, but I'll explain it as we go along here as well. So I'm going to create an instance of a plot obs type plot, which is a station plot, call it obs. I'm going to set the data attribute to be df for my data frame. For the time, I'm gonna say I want to plot now, so datetime.utc now. We need to set the level because we could have different levels. In this case, there aren't any, it's just surface observations, so we set that to none. Then we need to say what fields we're going to plot. This is the name of the data series in that data frame. So TMPF and dew point temperature. Next, we need to say where we want these to be plotted on our station plot. And this is done with compass directions. So plotting north would plot it north of the center of the station plot, east, northwest, southwest, and so on. So we're going to set the locations attribute. The temperature we normally plot in the northwest position, and the dew point we normally plot in the southwest position. We need to set the colors that we'd like these plotted. I'm gonna use tab red and tab green. Now remember, you can use red and green and they will be pure red and green. These are the Tableau color palette. I think they look a little bit nicer. And this one, we'll see in later videos, 
which is the formats. And in this case, we're not going to do any formatting, so none and none for the locations northwest and southwest, fields, temperature, and dew point temperature, which need some quotes around in there. The formats are useful for things like cloud cover, weather symbols, and some of the other things that we'll add to this map in next week's video. Okay, so now I'm going to create my panel. This is what the plot goes on. And we want a map panel because this is a geographic plot. I'm going to set the area to be Colorado. You can use any state abbreviation or any gym pack uh, area code. They're all in there. I'm going to set the projection from my Cartopi coordinate reference system. I'm going to use plot Curie. And then we can add some layers if we would like. And in this case, I'm going to add coastline, borders, and states. We need to put our obs plot on that panel. So panel.plots equals a list of the things we want on there. In this case, it's just one obs right now. We could add satellite data on this. We could add other types of data. This is a simple plot, though. And finally, we need to create our panel container. So we normally call that PC. I'm going to set the size of this to be relatively large, say 15 by 15. That defaults to inches, uh, of course, with the caveats about what the dot per inch setting is and so on in your matplotlibrc file. I'm going to add my panel, my map panel, to the panel container. And finally, we can call pc.show. So our error here is because we have a name mismatch. We called TEMPF. So we add that in. And now our plot is generating. This takes just a little bit of time. The station plots are complicated and quite a bit to draw, really. So right now, we see all the numbers around the Colorado area. So that looks pretty good, except for the fact that we don't have wind barbs or a circle at the center of the station. Uh, we could plot sky cover. Those are all things that we need to add. For this week, let's go ahead and add some wind barbs to the plot. So we're going to do that up here in our plot obs, where we're creating that object and setting its attributes. What we want to add is what's called a vector field. The vector field is going to take the east and west, or U and V, components of the wind, which in our data frame we're called eastward wind and northward wind. And that should be all we have to do to get wind barbs to plot. So just one line, very simple addition. And now we have wind barbs. So we can see circles for calm. And then we've got barbs showing the observed wind directions. We could also declutter this plot a little bit if we thought we had too many stations shown on here. In OBS, we can call reduce points and set this to a value that is going to determine a circle around each plot or around each station and not put any more stations in that circle. So it's just a nice way to downsample this data a little bit and get a less cluttered plot. So this plot is already looking pretty good, but we need to go ahead and add things like sky cover or maybe we want to add the altimeter reading. And altimeter readings require some string manipulation to get that into the format that we're used to seeing on a surface plot. So we'll talk about how to do that next week. But I hope that you found this useful, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.